first thing I do when I am decorating my tiered tray is I collect all of my decor items and I lay them out all in one place so I can play around with them and kind of see what works where. And I will go through each piece and tell you a little bit more about it as we decorate. I tried to stick to a very neutral color scheme with just little pops of red here and there, which ties in to the rest of the decor in my house. One thing that's really helpful when doing tiered trays is to get some sort of mounting tape like this one. I found it at Hobby Lobby. They also have little, almost clear sticker circles that you can put on your tiered tray as well, but I decided to get the mounting tape. So I'm starting decorating with these houses and these are gonna be my anchor items because they are one of the largest pieces that I'm decorating with and they're all a very similar shape. So I wanna make sure as I'm placing them on my tray that they flow well and they balance together and they're not all in a straight line or all on the same row. Since these are some of the biggest pieces on the tray, this is what's going to help the eye naturally wander from the top to the bottom and across. So it's very important to place your anchor items in the right spots. So now I'm just gonna go in and start playing around with different things. I like this letters to Santa to be on top, but if you can see here, there's a little bit of a lip which doesn't let you see the bottom part. So I need to find something to raise this up a little bit. Okay, so I found this empty tape spool and I think that is going to work great for me to set this on. It's clear, which is nice, and you really won't be able to see it because it's under the lip, but it elevates it enough so you can see the entire letters to Santa. And then I also wanted to make sure I put a piece of glass on each level. So I'm gonna go in and use this little ornament that I picked up from Michael's. It looks like a little mini cloche and I just cut the string from the ornament off. If I decide to use it as an ornament in a future year, I can go ahead and add a hook or a string, no big deal. So I'm gonna add that right over here. And then, oh, I forgot to mention that this little mailbox was an ornament from Joanne Fabrics this year. And these little houses were from the Target dollar spot, I believe last year. And if you're trying to achieve the same look, I know they have similar gingerbread style houses at Hobby Lobby, so I would check there. I'm also gonna add some height to this cloche, just so it doesn't get lost down here next to the mailbox. And for that, I'm just using this little mini condiment bowl that I had. I think it'll blend into the tray well and not really be too distracting. All right, so I'm pretty happy with how that looks right now as my first tier. Now let's move down to the middle tier. All right, so I'm gonna scoot this house over just a little bit. So I like to do, when I'm decorating with some of the same items, like these little mini Santa mugs that I found at Hobby Lobby. I haven't seen them at mine this year, but maybe they're still available at yours, so I would just double check. But if you're decorating with the same item, I like to disperse them like I did with the houses or group them all together like I'm gonna do with these cute little Santa mugs. And I don't want to block his face if I can help it, so I'm gonna do something like this. And then to just add to the Christmas effect, I have these little mini bottle brush trees that were from the Target dollar spot that I'm gonna add inside. So there you go. Very cute, all grouped together. And I'm adding in just some touches of red with the handles. Okay, so now we have the bottom level left on this front view side, and I'm gonna add a candle. I like adding a candle to all of my tiered trays, and the candle I'm using is this really pretty milk glass teacup. 
vintage one from Montana Candle Company. I will leave them linked down below if you're interested. I love decorating with vintage items. And when I found this candle shop that makes candles out of them, I thought it was so fun. You can also send in your own vintage items to have turned into candles as well. So I think that would be an awesome gift if you have a special heirloom family item or something that you don't mind having turned into a candle. That would be a really cool gift and a really awesome way to use and display that item. So anyway, I'm gonna put this candle over here and then we'll kind of play around with it. So I just grabbed some of these neutral bottle brush trees from the Target Dollar Spot. And then I'm also using these really pretty vintage deer ornaments that I found from a little antique shop in New York. I believe I have three of these and I just love using them on my tiered tray. I love that they have that book page look to them. They're really cute. They're also very lightweight, so they tip over very easily. So that's when this tape is gonna come in handy. And the same thing with the bottle brush trees. I'm gonna use this as well because if you just touch this thing, these will be the first things to fall over. So I just stuck the tape directly to the bottom of the tree so I can stick it wherever I want it to go. Make sure you press it down good. There now, as you can see, I can tap the tray and it's not gonna fall. If I didn't do that like this, it would have fallen right away. <laughs> So for the deer, I just put the tape on all of his little feet, so hopefully he will hold. There you go, not falling over, perfect. Also helped him stand up a little straighter, which was nice. Now I did lay out a third tree, which I might go and add in later, but I don't wanna overdo it right off the bat, so I'm gonna wait on this. All right, now that we have the front side, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it completely around and we'll do the other side. And also, I usually do my decorating videos voiceover style, but I wanted to try out this way just because I feel like it's a little bit more in the moment and personal, but let me know which style you prefer. Do you like this style, which is more as I go along and talking you through it, or do you prefer the sped up with the voiceovers? Let me know in the comments. And then I have this set of teacups that I got at Goodwill, and I love the look of stacked teacups, and it also ties in my vintage vibe. I also like to incorporate a lot of dishes and pottery type items in my tiered tray as well, and I thought this would be a cute way to add another little pop of green. And do you see how that's down really low? I am going to grab a little piece of paper towel to help elevate that. So just a piece of paper towel that I'm crumpling up and I'm sticking it inside of the teacups and that's going to elevate this tree so that it sticks out a little better and you're able to see it like so. So on the other side, I have this really pretty silver vintage sugar container holder, sugar holder. I think it's so pretty. I'm gonna kind of tilt the lid off to the side like this. And I found this at Goodwill as well. It was only like $1 because it was on sale. And then I'm gonna put these little rolled music paper. I cut them down so they would be the right size. And I also added some twine on there. So I'm gonna have those sticking out of this little sugar holder. And then right in this gap here, I'm gonna add one of these full bottle brush trees. I put a little piece of the tape at the bottom, so I'm gonna press that down, and that is going to help fill in that gap. Okay, so that is what the bottom level is going to look like. Now let's move up to the middle one. For this next level, this is kinda gonna be the star of the show. 
This ornament is from Joann's and I love how it's a little glass dome and it's very similar to all the colors that I already have going on in my tray and I just thought it was pretty and a good way to incorporate the glass theme that I have going on in here as well. And we're definitely gonna need to use the tape for this one because it has a rounded bottom. I grabbed a pretty long piece of that tape and I just put it on the bottom and now we'll see where to place it. I think it's gonna go right in the middle. And on this side, I'm reusing this candle that was from Walmart. It was a citronella candle and they sold it during the summertime. And I just scooped out what little we had left because I really liked all of the detail that it had. And then I'm just going to put some greenery inside for some pop of color. And also I like this one because it was flocked and kind of a muted green, which went with all of the other green that I have going on. And on this side, we're gonna balance it out with more bottle brush trees. Okay, so here we have row two, and now on to the last side on the top. So now I'm just gonna turn it around and see if there's any holes or other areas that I could fill in. So I'm just gonna add one more bottle brush tree back here. All right, I'm gonna give you a final close-up view of everything now that it's done, but I'm just making sure that I can't see anything sticking out from the other side or sticking up too high, making it look kind of odd or you know unbalanced, but everything seems to look really good. So now let's do a close-up of the finished tray. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found it useful and I was able to share some tips with you guys, maybe some helpful things that you didn't know that can help you decorate your own tiered tray. But yeah, I really wanna know what you guys think about this style of video. Like I said, it's a little bit different than how I normally do it. So if you wouldn't mind letting me know in the comments if you prefer this style or you would like me to go back to my other way of editing and filming, either way is completely fine with me. I just wanna know what you guys prefer. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and that you are subscribed for more Christmas decorating videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.